No. Jeff, you're in no position. To <laughs> even, do you? No. Nah. All right, no. go ahead. Go ahead. Give me a take. Give you me a take. literally got to understand his existential position in this entire situation. He's a, slave. He's a fucking slave. They were my best friends <laughs> <laughs> growing up. The black can. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared to leave. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, man. That was Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to watch and catch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. What's up, man? What do you mean, what's up? What's up? Uh, I mean, we did a lot this week, man. It's, uh, last week, what what, what was it? It was it, it was last week, right? Last Wednesday. Last did week. it all start last Wednesday? Yeah, no, I feel like the beginning of this was me getting sick. You giving me fucking virus <laughs> a disgusting infection oh uh, man hell? nah blame the managers at work man I had an upper respiratory infection cause nah. this man I believe it was what two episodes ago I believe so sniffling and coughing and shit yeah when you're like we both can't be sniffling at the same yeah. hey but we both better but now. at the time like I didn't even have whatever you had no it was no. just I don't know I just had like a stuffy nose or something well for me I was getting over it that was the thing it, it wasn't like well, a, you were still contagious yeah yeah for sure I'm and I got gonna, that shit I'm not that gonna sucked. disagree with that I lost two days of work because of that two days yeah well two the days? first first day cause it was what you like three what? days right so I get home Tuesday mm-hmm. you know just get no 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 I don't get home Tuesday Tuesday's my first day off okay so like I wake up Tuesday and you know I just got like scratchy throat. I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what you were telling mm-hmm. me too. You're like, yeah, my throat's scratchy. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm getting all that. And then you were fine. Like you didn't even get the the stuffy nose until like three four days after. No, no, no. no. So that was weird. Well, it was Thursday were, Thursday morning because like Wednesday you didn't sound stu- you didn't sound right, right. like nasally. Uh, Wednesday I just was sneezing all over the place yeah. and da da da. But Thursday that's when I really woke up and like. I had the chest pain mm. and everything, and it was bad, bad as hell. And I knew I wasn't gonna be able to go into work, so I just kind of texted my boss. I was like, "Yo, tomorrow ain't happening," and she was like, "All right, cool." And then the next day you came to work, and then she saw that she's like, "Nah, nah, nah we don't have any anything for you today." On top of that, you're sick. Nah, nah we're not doing home. this. Like, she's like, home. "Go home." So regardless, she was gonna send you home anyway. They're like, go home. Yeah, but. I'm solid. The only thing I really got to deal with is that extra mucus. Mucus that stuff. you got to get rid of, mm-hmm. yeah. But you can breathe. Yeah, everything. Um, so sleep, all that stuff like that. I'm so sure. and then we don't have to, we don't have to uh, close the vent and mm-hmm. be sweating. No, but I feel like we accomplished some things. We no, we did, time. man. Um, last week's uh, episode with Victor went very well, man. I mean. Tales of the Sea. Tales of the Sea. It was. It, it wasn't. I mean, we we touched up on what happened with the whole submarine thing. Right. But it was him just mostly giving his um his uh, interpretation of the history of the Titanic. Yeah, the Titanic. Yeah, and, and I'm not gonna say accurate, but he he just basically gave hey. us, he gave us the Vic version. <laughs> it wasn't a textbook. It was the Vic version. <laughs> Oh man! No. So right, no, but it was like, um, but what he was saying was very interesting. Um, we got a, a a decent amount of clicks on it. Um, because again, too, people will talk about certain things in history, but you won't know how they're connected. And he basically kind of yeah, I didn't know about the whole the the the, the, the Lusitania yeah. or something like that. And the reason why they kept creating it and then took it apart and right. and and the, how the what was it the Germans sunk one of the ships in battle even though or it was were, like a Russian U-boat yeah, or something a Russian U-boat yeah the Russian U-boat where they weren't supposed to um, sink it but they did anyway right. so it was like it was like things like that man so no but that was a that was a very good episode um, really want to invite him back and because and, he's like uh, when I was taking him when uh, 
um, when he was about to leave, he was telling us, "Oh yeah, well, I'll see you in two months when I figure out what else I, we we should talk about." So that was what funny. else he wants to educate. Yeah, us yeah, on? what else he wants to that. educate us on? Yeah, I feel that. So, but it, uh, again, too, um, I guarantee you, like he'll he'll because he'll give us he'll give us uh, some of his background and where he came from and all that mm-hmm. stuff like that. And mm-hmm. if, for people who are just tuning in um, on recent episodes or never met Vic, he's actually a good person. He's a good guy. Um, he wants be- he wants best for not just himself but his family. But again, we as human beings judge things book by its cover. So you hear violent things and you think he's a violent person or a that. bad person. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, man, he's he's pretty cool. He's, he's pretty cool. chill. If you know Vic outside, and that's why I always tell people if you know somebody outside of uh, a social set a social setting, then you know what type of person they are instead of just. Oh, this is what I see. This is what I assume because yeah. you know how the internet is. What you show me on the internet is what I think you're like in real life, as we we've, we've discussed several times. Yeah. But no, he's pretty cool. Um, that was a good thing. And then of course, uh, that was that was after that was on the Thursday. But the day before that, hooked up with uh, Leo, my buddy Leo. Yeah. It's been a while. What ten years? Fifteen years. <laughs> No nah, man, it was like yeah, it's it's a decade and a half. It bro, feels it's been hell? a while, man. It's what the it, hell? it's been a while. Um, but no, it was um, it, we were just uh, we because we, we're just planning on um, just chilling. So hey, what's up, Jimmy? Yeah, we just planning what's on up, chill, oh, Jimmy said, "What's up? How you doing, brother? How uh, y'all doing? What's going on, Jimmy? Um, but um, no, we were just um, we we're I was talking to um. I was talking with uh, Leo, just trying to link up, just so we can meet up because we're planning on going to see the Flash anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're hearing bad things all over the internet, but of course, you know how we are. We're gonna go right. see it. But for me, I really want to go see it for Michael Keaton. You know, I got I got to represent. I feel that. What, what, what was your I love overall it. thoughts on that? On the on the film? Yeah. Or just okay. So I kind of get see see because we already knew. See, Wally West was the funny guy. Mm-hmm. Not Barry Allen. So really, Barry was never the jokester. Nah, too serious. Really? Yeah, I've never, I've never Barry, Barry Allen, but um, Wally West was an engineer. Barry Allen was a scientist or the forensic scientist, but they're both scientists in, mm-hmm. in their own right. So when I watched the Justice League show as a as a youngin, um, all um, Wally West did was joke around about things, even though we knew he was an engineer right. outside of being the Flash, right. but he hid everything under comedy. So they basically took that aspect of the Flash and then put it in Barry Allen, which is uh, which is how um which is why he was so funny in the film. I got you. Yeah, so um Barry Allen is more of a serious character. Even when you watch the TV show, he's more of a serious character than he is a a jokester. Like he takes everything seriously. He's not he'll have fun sometimes, mm-hmm. but it's not like comedic every single time. He's like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. Basically, yes. Versus uh, who's the the jokey one? Not Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. He's Andrew Gar- Garfield Spider Man compared to Tobey Maguire was nerdy. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Barry Allen would be Tobey Maguire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, and then yeah. Take Wally that. Wally West would be the other motherfucker. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So they basically encompassed it in in in, in that. But um, overall, um, I like the film. It's not great. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that they could have done. And they made the villain noticeable at the beginning, especially if you're not uh, a regular. If you're not a avid exactly. reader, or, as soon as I right. as soon as I saw the 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 bad the bad guy um, hit him out of the speed bubble, I was like, it's Avatar. <laughs> that was it. I was like, because I knew what Avatar right. was like. I'm like Avatar. Wait, was Avatar in the TV yes. series? He was uh, season three's villain because you gotta look at it. the the season the the show got redundant because right. the first one. Was Reverse Flash. Right. The second one. It was, was just Speed it, it was, yeah. Evil the second one suits. was the Black Flash. The third one was Savitar. <laughs> and it's like, bruh, give me something else <laughs> besides Speedsters. We already know this man. Wait, didn't they do the Magician guy? <laughs> yes. But that was like after like four or five seasons. So when it got to like season four and five it was like all right it's getting redundant we're getting tired of this then that's when the ratings drop because they're like we're seeing the same thing speedsters well the budget dropped dude <laughs> hey i mean but you know it went right back up too so but no so i think it was that but no i i really honestly went to i wanted to see their take on it and how they would use that technology um like movie budget technology to see how they would make 
the Flash running mm-hmm. and all that stuff like that. And it and it was it was okay, but the CGI was horrible because what I've learned is the way direct the way um, big businesses are, they don't care if the CGI is done or not. They just want their money. Right. So regardless they're, they're if it, really yeah. So regardless if it's right. finishing, fin- which is why a lot of special effects people are being rushed to do their job that they love, but is not perfected because you can tell throughout the film which was the stunt double for Barry Allen. No, it was just bad. Yeah, which was the stunt double for it was him. Just bad. And, yeah, it was just bad, and you can tell like it, they moved the camera, those face, and I'm surprised they didn't do the whole film one scene and then move him to the other side and film the other scene mm-hmm. and then connect those two scenes together to make it make more sense but they did their thing yeah they did their thing they did their thing i don't know i feel like it was a waste of a plot if none of this mattered like what what was the he reset the what did he learn at the end of all this nothing (laughs) absolutely nothing and that's why that's why absolutely nothing. that's why i mean credits uh spoiler but uh, they showed aquaman so, based, because this film is also coming out this year in November right. or December. Wait, but didn't some things change, though, right? Yeah, just a couple people. But, I mean, he doesn't know what changed until he sees. Because, mm. remember, that's what happened with Barry. Barry's like, right. this didn't happen. This wasn't like this. This wasn't like this. In Flashpoint Paradox and in the TV show. Because in the TV show, when he did the Flashpoint, he came back and there was a lot of things that were different. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, what what do you think is going to happen with the whole George Clooney I don't know. I don't. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Come on, bro. It's been a month. Bro. Yeah. Empty ass theaters. If you ain't seen it. <laughs> Dragon Ball bro. reference. If you ain't bootlegged the movie yet, it, hey, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. But so, how? What, what direction do you think that's going to go? Because well, you just said something earlier about, um, it's kind of like how the way Marvel is doing with all the rejected Superheroes. Superhero movies mm-hmm. are just now part of that whole TVA. Oh universe. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're watching, we're watching um, something on um, Deadpool three because it's coming out next year. But mm-hmm. basically, um, because if you have seen Deadpool two, spoiler alert, he basically has uh, K- uh, K- Kiko or Kimiko fix the time watch that he stole from Cable, and then right. he started going throughout the different universes. And, and killing things, which now will involve the TVA. The TVA and if you don't right. know who the TVA is, it's basically from Loki. Flat. Yeah, Loki, the TV show Marvel on 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 Disney Plus. So t- watch that because it's connected to Deadpool three that's coming out. So the TVA is coming after him because essentially when you fuck up the timeline, they basically you're basically creating branches of right. different brand new universes. So right. they're making references to the 1997 classic X-Men that are going to be showing up so it's going to be literally comic book accurate which is why when you saw the behind the scenes pictures of, of Hugh Jackman mm-hmm. and, and, and uh, Ryan Reynolds he was fighting, Wolverine was fighting Deadpool um, and of course it's rated R so there's going to be um, blood and stuff like that See now, do you think he's going to pull a, like, do you think Wolverine's going to be an integral part of the movie or he's just going to be some cameo bullshit? No, he's going to be an integral part because he literally said because he literally said at the end of Deadpool 2, guess who's going to be in the third movie? Wolverine. Wolverine. And then... But he said that with... Uh, Cable. It? Cable. Exactly, but Cable was integral. He was part of the entire film. It wasn't just a scene and then that's it. Right. Because literally, what did Hugh Jackman say? Uh, to prepare for the film, I'm going to just be at home, spend time with my family, and train for six months on my own. I feel that. So why would he do all that, that just to no. be uh, in a cameo? No, that's fair. So it's that's gonna fair. be him, both of them in the entire thing. And on top of that, they're introducing mutants, which they did in in um, um, Ms. Marvel mm-hmm. on um, Disney Plus. Right. They introduced the mutants because they're like, oh, the power's not from the gauntlet that she found. It's an X gene you activated by putting on the gauntlet. So they're slowly introducing mutants into the world, and Deadpool three is like the gateway to do that. Okay, yes. and then that just involves TVA. And, yes, okay. yes. And the, and the way I was trying to connect that to, you know, Flash's whole thing is mm-hmm. now he could they could just explain all these standalone DC movies. Exactly, and that's you know that saying? that's kind of what well, and that's I, what they say it's kind of weird because Joker and the Batman by Matt Reeves, uh, the same guy that directed. Uh, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes right. and War of the Planet of the Apes. Right. Um, they said that's just two universes. So you're literally going to have 
the Blue Beetle, Superman Legacy, mm -hmm. Batman Brave and the Bold, mm -hmm. and then you're going to have the Dark Universe, which is the Batman, Do you feel that Joker 2. That's just kind of these studios' way of digging themselves out of the, the continuity I believe, universe? I believe so, and that's why I think they made James Gunn the, the head of right. it, because he will literally guide them, just right. like Kevin Feige did before he... Uh, jump off ship right. but he'll basically guide them to where they need to be and say we don't need to rush this we can connect it but we don't need to rush this Marvel was successful because they took their time and now they're in the now they're making billions on top of what they've already done before starting in 2008 with um, Iron Man and then the Incredible Hulk and now they ended it with Infinity War which is part of that so it's like take your time stop rushing because as soon as that happened DC's like, the DC old heads were like, oh, look how much money they're making. Just hurry up and make this film so we can make money because right. that's all they wanted. And then they realize is you're shitting on the fans that care about the film just so you can focus on profits. So literally, profits over people. When you care about more, when you care more about the money instead of the fans, you're not going to get the money from the fans unless they, you give them what they like. Don't give them what you think they like. Give them what they like and take your time with it. So it was just a it was just like a race, a race to see who can get to Avengers and Justice League. Right. And of course DC but failed. Even yeah, DC failed, but I still feel like Marvel kinda dug themselves in a hole, which they kinda solved with the whole Kang uh, uh storyline. Yes, line. and now that they know that Jonathan Majors is innocent, they're gonna continue the Kang line and hopefully they can dig themselves out the hole moving forward because Literally, Phase 4, the only good thing that really came out of it was Loki. I didn't care about Phase 4. I didn't shit. Damn, bro. Uh, shit. No, I can, say, I can say the only good thing that came out of Phase 4, honestly, for me, was Moon Knight and Loki. Yeah, but those weren't even, like, main cinematic I know. plot lines. That's bro. the Let's only thing go. that sucked. Let's Because go. they weren't. And because it's its own separate universe. So... Literally, yo, big, what's up, man? Hey. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, you're good. So th that's the only thing that sucks. So literally, there was nothing. Th there was nothing else they they can do because they fucked it up. Because mm -hmm. I get it. You can you can remember when we talked about a strong female character without saying she's a strong female character? Mm -hmm. They didn't do that. It's just I don't need a man. I can do it by myself. Who? And all the Ms. Marvel, uh, and, uh, She Hulk, um, they're doing it in all the films. You see what I'm saying? I feel that. Moon Knight is the only one I feel they did they didn't take over, and Loki was still the main character, even though there was a female Loki. Right. It didn't ruin the aspect of the entire show at all. Same thing with the uh, same thing with the, uh, and that's how you know it was starting to get there because in in in, in Endgame where they gave that segment to all the women. Like, oh, yeah, we're, we're strong. We can go against Thanos. And it's like, y'all haven't done nothing <laughs> the entire, since the beginning of the saga. And now all of a sudden, you Who got... Was in, well, most of it was... I feel like when they did that whole thing, I think most of that was just the Black Panther. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which, see, they, that they even... Really didn't yeah, introduce a lot of... And that's, that's what I loved about that one, too. They didn't even portray that they were strong, independent women. They were just strong character warriors that's just how it always has been throughout the entire comics right you see what i'm saying um the door melage were always there it wasn't oh i don't want the door melage to be women anymore i want them, uh, no that was just they yeah, were just that's that's since the created. beginning that's yeah. how it was right. so and that's what i loved about it is they're strong characters they just happen to be females you see that was that was the issue and i think um like you said marvel's shooting themselves in the foot now because even starting with Phase 5 with Ant-Man Quantumania, it was, none of it was focused on, none of it was really focused on Scott Lang and all that stuff like that. It was focused on his wife or his girlfriend mm -hmm. and then his daughter and then the old woman. And, and then the old woman. It was okay. I didn't watch it. I it didn't. Okay. Well, could you summarize it for me? Um, so, uh, Scott missed out five years of, of his daughter's life right she started doing criminal activity just like he used to do mm -hmm. he's trying to lead her away from all oh, right because he was blip yes okay. 
So, but she's also intelligent like he is without having to go to college or all that stuff like that. So she's like an engineer. She creates a signal to the quantum realm, which Kang was stuck in <laughs> because all the, the Council of Kangs trapped him in there because he was the one that was going to try to destroy the entire universe. And then because he created the beacon, the, the, um, the, the, um, the wife of, um, what's his name? Pim? Pim. Yeah. Hank. Hank Pym, mm-hmm. the wife of Hank Pym, is like, shut it off. There's something in there. She, she refuses to tell him what it is. I can't tell you. And then they get sucked in because Kang finds a why signal. Why would you tell me? Exactly. He's like, why would you ever <laughs> tell me something like that? Blah, blah, blah. Why would you and, tell um, me? Yeah, what so in short, Kang gives Scott um, uh, a solution. He's like, if you free me, I will give you back the time you lost. So he tempted him. Yes. He's, so basically, the time that he—that's he, that's a dumb. <laughs> yeah. But think about it. What the fuck? But think about it. I know he was. I know he was stuck in the quantum realm for five hours, but it was five years in the real world. So he lost all those. Well, years. It's too late. I know. Deal with it. Well, I mean, you Keep know, remote. they Keep can't solve it. cancer, but they can, you know. Yeah, we can quantify <laughs> shit. Yep. What the fuck? They can't solve cancer. That's crazy. But they can solve that. So that's kind of that was kind of the premise of it. He's like, you lied. We keep our promises. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah. Mm-hmm. And now you're trying to kill me and my family and my daughter. And that's when they the, the whole they had to fight each other and all that stuff like that. Right. But essentially, that was the incum uh, the encompass of it. But it was literally focused on the daughter, um, the mother, and um, Wasp. So it wasn't really an Ant Man movie. He was it was just Ant Man side character and then everybody else. So. They already started off at a shitty point on phase five, and now they're moving on to the next, which is the Marvels. <laughs> when is that which, dropping? That's November, but I don't think anybody's gonna go see it because it's gonna be as bad as. What Marvel. didn't it have like hello reshoots or something like that? Um, I don't know about the reshoots. No. No, I don't know about the reshoots. But right now, Secret Invasion is part of phase five, and it's going on right now. On, but that's the TV series. That's right? the TV series, but it's also connected to. Um, the marbles. So that's something else that's going to happen. But well, yeah, that's true. Yep. The, the scrawl and mm-hmm. Captain, the actual Captain yep. Marvel or Marvel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I guess. Yep. So that I was guess. so essentially that's that's what it is. Like they're they're still trying to dig themselves out of a hole. So hopefully they can do that. But uh, that's what happened Wednesday, Thursday. Of course, like I said, we had the uh, interview with Vic. That was amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, literally taught us a lot about the Titanic. And then um, we finished watching Vinland Saga. It deserves this. Oh, it was that good. Oh, it talked about life, I struggles. Have no I have no I enemies. I have no enemies. Yes, that's it. So that's it. You saw that on TikTok for like weeks. Mm-hmm. I have no enemies. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Because I didn't know what direction season two was going to go uh-huh. in. Because it was like, I watched season one, like, right before and the And apparently pandemic. it came out four years ago? Mm-hmm. I watched it when it dropped. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't watch it when it dropped. You just kept saying, did I ever see it? And I'm like, yeah, no, I've never seen it. So one day I decided to watch it, and it was good. Right. And you know me, story guy. So, right. you know, I'll watch it. Right. But it's like... Okay, this is good. This is great. I see what his. I see the direction is going. But you don't pay attention to any of that until you get to season two. Right. Then you remember season one. So it kind of forces you to want to go back. Like all the all the words of wisdom that has. I still don't think it makes me want to go back and watch season one. I'm no, sorry. In the sense of all the all the words of wisdom that his father. That was literally and, and, the first and, episode. And Escalard gave him. No, 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 What? No. No? No, 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 just made him see the bullshit that he was going through. Like, he never even really egged him on to, like, he's just like, I'll just let you figure it out. Yeah. Life isn't about revenge. You know what I'm saying? And then eventually you'll reach a point where, you know, you'll forget about it, but... Sadly, he never did. Do you think that's possible? What? The what he was talking about? Because if if, if okay, first you got frame. What the hell was he talking about? There's no, I'm things. sorry. Season two, right? Uh, so everything that his father told him in the first episode, mm-hmm. uh, where he's like, "I have no enemy," you mm-hmm. know, and nobody has. Enemy. No one is your enemy. No I one. have no enemy. Yes. Right. Yeah. 
do you think that'd be possible or probable in a in a society or a world today like in our reality do you think that would be possible because this man really did not this man really had to go through a journey to understand what his father meant um with um perfect example like when we go to war i don't know you you don't know me but we're killing each other for no reason right yeah um i think he meant it in stand uh the 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 point where or the angle that i'm guessing he's trying to become a leader like this is this is more of a critique on the leaders Mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying yeah especially like Askeladd, his dad, learning about all these great warriors and seeing that it was more than just violence. Violence. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To really be a great leader, it, was, it wasn't just about being the best fighter or how many people you can kill or mm-hmm. being the strongest or being feared yeah. or anything like that. Um, so with him, I don't know, man. I don't know. No, what I'm saying, do you think it'd be possible or probable in our society today to speak the way he did, or is that something that you think that's... I think it's possible. Yeah. I think it's possible. Because literally... Isn't that what diplomacy is for? Yeah, because he literally said the last step would be violence. But it's like, okay, I would run away. I feel like he's the first guy that had that eureka. Like, Mm -hmm. hey, instead of just (laughs) going in and slaughtering everybody... Why don't we just talk this over mm-hmm. and make a deal? Because that was the first thing that right. occurred, you know? Right. <clears throat> they immediately invaded a territory and expected resistance, so they... Attacked instead of... I don't know. Had a conversation. I don't know. It's, That's why I'm asking, crazy. because I... Trust me, I understand the perspective that he is coming from where he's like, words before violence, mm-hmm. but would it be practical in a real-life situation where... The first thing people are quick to do is fight, and elite in a leader sense, not not just because you're a small soldier, but I'm talking about the leader because literally he literally came up to him and said, "This could have been um, talked over a game, over a game of whatever, whatever you know what I'm saying, chess or whatever. This but. this dispute could have been settled over a game of chess or." some drinks or something and like sled that. you slaughter the very people that you need to harvest the to land. harvest the land the to land. till the land yes. to farm the land you that's say crazy. you say you need money that's crazy so you okay so you say you need money because you're short mm-hmm. the land that has the um the means that you need to make that money you want to take it over right but so you create this entire plot point to get rid of the person who but don't un- yeah that owns the land but don't understand that he has the bodies to harvest the right. land and he understands how to harvest the and land and how to harvest the right. land so why would you slaughter the people that you need viking shit viking brain exactly viking brain that's crazy that's crazy yeah. and after he talked to Canute Canute like disbanded his entire military. That's it. Yeah, not his whole military, but like he just left sixteen ships and let everybody right. else go home. So, but that that's that that was crazy to me. And it's like it it took because his mindset was power. Mm-hmm. He didn't he By any means. he knew how to get it, but he didn't understand what how to it, wield it. Yeah, how to wield it. What the responsibility was with it. Um, and if people don't know what we're talking, about, we're talking about Vinland Saga. Season two. Uh, season two, um, where it's completely different, like you said, from the first one. But it's like, he, he, I don't think, he, uh, he's still young, because he doesn't know how to govern. You 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 acquire power, yes, but right. how do you maintain the power? If the, the, very, the very things that you need to maintain that power, you're destroyed. Right. I feel that. Yeah. Well, I feel like his only main goal... Was to unite the Vikings. Yeah, you because what he what did, what did he say about God? He said he's like, I command the sea to calm, and it just kept raging. And he just on. kept going, and he's like, the only person that can do that is God, which is why. And for me to 
try to claim or create a paradise is almost blasphemous to to him himself. to him himself mm-hmm. so he's going to create a paradise for vikings because they're not allowed in god's paradise yep and in doing so i'm guessing he just pillaged all right your viking squad is now part of mine he just kind of grew his yeah, you could tell he was making effort. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I thought I said don't pillage the... Yeah, because they're going to grape the women. They're going to right. um, take the, the loot They're gonna and they're going to burn the place. He's like, how can you pillage what I'm trying to keep? What I'm trying to keep. If I want the land right. and you pillage the land, mm-hmm. then how are we supposed to build off the mm-hmm. land? So okay. that's why it didn't make any sense when he said that at the beginning. But then the, the, the land that he needed... Um, he was going. He was ready to kill. Everybody. He was ready to kill everybody and 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 let. That's them. crazy. That's crazy. You killed the farmers farming your land, so you could take the land away from the farmers. But how are you going to get the money? <laughs> That's crazy, man. What the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's nuts. Yeah. So how do you feel about a uh, um, Ain Ainard? Ain't her? His friend, dude. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, man, can we say simp on YouTube? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, uh, man. Look, I have no issue with, with him, and I understand where he was coming from, but to at first, it was fine. I got it. Right. I didn't know. I didn't know she had a previous husband. And I didn't, and I kind of had, slaves. and I kind of had, yeah, <laughs> and I kind of had an inkling that she was probably, because as soon as I heard tending to the master, I'm like, I already know what that right. means. They didn't even have to right. spell it out for me. So right. it was like, I get it. She's a slave and, and, and you, you, you're starting to fall for her, but at the same time, you're never going to have that opportunity, especially if she's tending to the master. Then when she tells you that she's pregnant, you still are going after her. Then you find out she has a husband, you're still going after her. And it's like, when is it going to end? What are you hoping for? You want to help her escape. I think he loved her beyond the point of it was unconditional. He just wanted her to be happy. Gotcha. Regardless of his own happiness. Right. Well, I think that's what would have made him happy. Her being free. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Granted, yeah. there wasn't no other women on the motherfucking island. Well, there was. He just wasn't paying attention to any There was other women on the island. Yeah, because remember, the, the master's son was sleeping with that freckled blonde hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was plenty of women. Yeah, you're right. And then remember Because when, her family was trying to get closer with uh, yes. to the money. And then remember when when they were when the master was out in the field with the others, you saw a lot of other women, a lot of kids, and all that stuff like that. They were bringing them water and stuff right. like that. Yeah, so don't forget about that because they were cutting the heart. Mm-hmm. They were cutting the wheat. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, master's in the... the... It was love at first sight, yeah. It was love at first sight. He saw Bruh, her. <laughs> it, love at first sight would be gone as soon as I found... It's like, you know there was that shotgun sound that... Burr, burr. <laughs> Not that shotgun sound. You know, like when you find out... Like um, when Dwayne Johnson does the eyebrow, it does... Burr, burr, like that. <laughs> you oh. Know, when you say... When you find out some, some shady shit... No, it's not it. That? You're like, okay. That's the first what I the fuck. You. I got you. <laughs> that's the first AO what the fuck. Maybe. First of all, can I just say that was a terrible imitation of what this is. That is a terrible you imitation. You said purr, purr. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. Vic knows how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, man? Oh, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And then, of course, I get that. You didn't know she was with anybody. She was just a slave. She didn't talk about her previous life. Cool beans. I get it. Mm-hmm. Then she she has good conversation with you. Mm-hmm. You fall for her. Great. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Then you find out she tends to the massa. No. Jeff, you're in no position. To even, <laughs> do you? No. Nah. All right, nah. go ahead. Go ahead. Give me a take. Give you me a take. literally got to understand his existential position in this entire situation. He's a, slave. He's a fucking slave. <laughs> he does. But he's a slave. 
<laughs> he can work to be free. No, okay. And what? And then what else? Now he's just a free poor man. That that he chooses to keep on the... Remember, they always... Stay, right, because they, they always stay... Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a slave. So what are we even talking about? Yeah. What are we even talking about? You know what I'm saying? I think the... I feel like the circumstances are so different. Say this. Fine, you tend to the master. I get it. You, you's pregnant. What? This what? There's no point. I get it. I get it. You fall in love with her. You're good with that. All that stuff like that. But then you're like, okay, now you're pregnant. Because nah, you saw his face. Yeah. You Ooh, you saw his face. That's tough. He's like, yeah, I'm burying his child, and it's like, okay, and then now it's like, oh, that's my husband. It's like that's tough. It, you can tell it hurt. But that's the thing. But like you said, he wanted to make her he happy. He was managing that anger. Forgive, I have no enemies. He can't be angry. But he was angry no, every time. None second. of them are his enemies, Jeff. That's the lesson. I have no enemies. And and Thorfinn had to keep teaching him that. Yeah. Because he kept forgetting. It's like, why do you want to just fight, bro? He almost choked the fuck out of Thorfinn, bro. Almost strangled that man in the middle of his Because he found out that it was him. No, he didn't find out it was him. He just knew he was one of the... One of the guys that pillaged his village when he was younger. No, he never found out. That was Thorfinn's dream. Okay. That was just one of Thorfinn's nightmares mm-hmm. and shit like that. Like, Thor, Thorfinn wasn't the one who actually pillaged his village. His village. Oh, okay, I got right. you. He just felt like... Right. I got you. Right. Um, it's like you're just all one in the same, essentially. And then I know you were talking about this is why um, feminism started with a with a with a woman. No, this is one aspect of feminism that protects women. That protects because like look at her position. It was bad. It was bad. They there was no autonomy in her position. No. She was at the whim of men. Whatever man just felt like doing whatever. Yeah. You no, know she what didn't saying? have a choice. Yeah, know, they, they had no choice, choice she had at no all. Choice. You were just a victim of the circumstances. Yeah. Vikings pillage your village, you're either getting killed or graped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or sold into slavery. Yeah. They're going to kill all your men. Or raped your and chi- then sold into yeah. slavery. Potentially kill all your children. What were you going to do? Oh, I'm going to... You couldn't. Mm-hmm. There was no, I'm going to vote. I'm going to give so-and-so a mm-hmm. piece of my mind. Or no. permission to or do Or permission. Yeah. No. Nah, yeah. Like, you were just... Like, even before the, the master ended up uh, beating her, mm-hmm. like, one of his guards was just going to do whatever. Do whatever. Yeah, before he, That's even, crazy. Before he even got there That's in crazy. daylight. That's crazy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, like, there was no fighting back. Mm-hmm. So She just was going to stand there and take that's it. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I, I get it. You know, the, there's a... But at least human rights, human human dignity or some shit like that that yeah. was crazy no i get it man i get it for, for throughout a majority of history they're mm-hmm. just victims they're just victims of the circumstances you see what i'm saying yeah. up until you know women's movement and all that and getting well like you said the last 75 like years the, yeah everything we're experiencing now is just the last 75 yeah years. because you literally said after we finished watching the entire... What was it? Penicillin was invented in what? 18... No, no. 1945 it was first distributed. Distributed. Penicillin. Yeah. Yeah. We're literally living in the past 75 years. Yeah. Because you literally say if you broke something, that was it. That was it. You died. That was you got it. sick, you died. Uh-huh. Infection, you died. You died. Yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. Everything, everything, everything. Yeah. That was it. Like, it didn't... Damn. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. That's why it's like, I can't get mad at anything taking place because... No, I get it. I we get still it. don't know. We don't I know get, shit. The, the, only reason why, the only reason why I can say we react the way we react is because we understand what it is. We see, we, they, they, they're going through it day by day. What do you mean? It's like history. It's like... Break it down for me. Take us from this time. Uh-huh. Dump us somewhere in history. Mm-hmm. We're un- we'll understand what it is and why certain people didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, but we're still going to die. Oh, of course. I'm not saying we're not. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. I'm not saying we're not. Or, or uh-huh. we would be superhuman as fuck. 
Well, because, because we're, we already have the vaccine, the vaccines and, and immunity yeah. to oh, everything yeah. that we've taken oh, since we were kids. Yeah, of course. Yes, our lo- our lifespan would be longer than the average forty five year old. But I'm saying if we did if we did survive, we understand what it is, how to avoid it, all that stuff like that. They're living day to day. No, we'd long. probably die. You know, you want to know why? why? Nutrition. Because our bodies are used right. to uh, taking we're intake, high calorie, yeah, intake every what day. We're used to eating, we're yeah. eating almost a thousand calories. What seven hundred to two thousand calories, calories a, day. a day on average? The yeah. average human back in the day, you were lucky to eat that in what four or five days. Yeah, that's true. Four or five days, get all your daily vitamins and let's see you live in the minerals, like clean water, all of that shit, filtered air, conditioned air. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Soap, shampoo, everything. Hygiene, mm-hmm. toothpaste, toothbrush. 75 years. That's it. That's it. That's why I always say we don't know shit. We don't know shit. We can't comment on anything when we've only been doing this for 75 years. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't know shit. Damn. Okay. No, I get it. I get it. But. Damn. Yeah, man. But it was a good show. Yeah. I recommend it. Yeah. I recommend it. Granted, now we got to wait till what, 2028 for season three? <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> yep. Might Cause, as well. Because you right? said the first one look, took four years? Yeah, dude. It, was, it, came, it dropped 2019, mm-hmm. man. That's yep. stupid. I didn't know. And like I said, I didn't know that. So yeah. that's a good thing it did do that. It dropped 2019. I watched it uh, through the pandemic because it, it was a fall, fall, winter anime, I believe. Yeah. Cause it's what twenty four episodes, yes, yeah. Each. So it was a fall, and, and it's and it's and it's consistent and even each, mm-hmm. yeah. So it was fall winter. So I kind of watched that once the pandemic. Uh, did I say once again? Yep. That's crazy. That's tough. Once the pandemic happened, you know, sometimes that happens to me what? where I'll say a word like, uh, "What's the word that I say?" Anything that has T I O N. I can't hear the the letter when I say it. Seriously? Like vacation. I can't hear me saying... Shun? Shun. What do you hear? It's silent. Like sometimes I'll be having a so conversation. So you just say vacay? No, no, no. I say the word. I mouth the word. Mm-hmm. I articulate the word. Mm-hmm. But sometimes in the middle of a conversation, like... I'll say a word, and then my brain blocks out the word. So I'll hear, like, silent. Like, I'll feel like the word was chopped, was cut off. Do you get what I'm saying? That's, a, that's something different. No, I understand what you're saying. Do you get saying. what I'm saying? <clears throat> that just You just never said that. You just it's like auditory me. dyslexia or some shit like that. <laughs> where, your brain, where your brain refuses to hear the Like, word. hear the word. Yeah. Right. Like, I'll be talking about something, and then... It'll go silent in the middle of me saying the word, and mm-hmm. then I don't know. I don't know if I said the word the correct way or not. I don't know. Could be some weird thing. Shit, that is different. Yeah, it could be something weird. Could be possessed. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm leaving. You could have the house. <laughs> I'll just do your whole sage thing. Yeah, I already did that. That's what I was doing before we started. A word? Yeah, yes, sir. So nothing, so nothing stupid happens. Evil spirits. So nothing stupid happens. Nah, man. So you wanna you wanna talk about what happened? <laughs> your five days off. What happened? And then your truck breaking down. What's up, man? What's going on? The five days off. Yeah. They sent you. The I word. was just sick. I was sick for five days. What yeah. the fuck did I was I supposed? Well, to no, do? like yes. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I think Jimmy's watching, but. He sent me, so, Florida man story. Mm-hmm. Or Florida woman. Florida man, Florida woman. So, he, I, I think he was doing Pepsi. He sends me a video of a woman at Walmart. She was naked. She was she was on something. Mm-hmm. This was this was on the Six Mile Cypress Walmart. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? And he didn't even know what was going on himself. So he was lost kind of, her mind. Yeah, yeah. So, it's like, they're trying to figure out what she was on. Apparently, based off of what he was saying, she came in with clothes, took it off, sat on the floor naked with her daughter in her arm. Then proceeded to stand up, put her daughter in the, 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 the movie bin. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, all the associates were trying to take her 
away and then she jumped on the register and started singing a Justin Bieber song I believe I don't know if that's um, but she was singing something but nobody can touch her because all the security were men right so essentially they were looking for women that wanted who were willing to risk wrestle. their life wrestle <laughs> wrestle risk their wrestle. life on uh on the potential of her being on something super strong where she can kill you. She get like super fucking. Yeah. Because I don't know. I don't know the side effects. of. She got that what? That, that venom serum? From, that from Bane? Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> but, fucking back breaker your yeah, shit over yeah. the register. Hell yeah. <laughs> but um, apparently after that he sent me a picture of her strapped down going into an ambulance. That's so crazy. I don't know what was on but I remember you were kind of like saying something at, in, in the sense of like we... Where a lot of people are just losing grip on reality, man. Yeah. With everything that's going on today mm -hmm. in this world, it's like they can't handle it anymore. Yeah. They rather be on some type of opioid than to have to deal with everyday reality. Every, real yeah, shit. Yeah, real shit. Yeah. Everyday life. Um, to me, to me, that's crazy, man. It's like, how bad does it have to get before it gets better? But it really also depends on like, what's your tolerance for? I have a high tolerance. You know, for fuckery and bullshittery <laughs> that takes place in <laughs> this space of reality. Oh, uh, shit. You know I have saying? a high I have a high tolerance for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I lose mean, more hair, but, you know. Like, how do you cope with reality when it gets too much? Some people go to the gym. Uh -huh. Some people disassociate. Some people, some people do drugs. Some, some people lose their mind. You know what I'm saying? Some people lose their mind. Uh it just really depends. It really depends. Everyone has their own coping mechanism for dealing with reality. Which is why you were saying something along the lines is we literally have to start solving mental health before yeah, mental health something is, else. You said something else. Men mental health is getting up there with, like, cancer. There you go. And shit. There you go. Like, there you go. You said we really... We really got to... Something needs to develop in mental health science and not just drugging it or sedating it or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we really or, gotta yeah. break down what, what the is, fuck is happening in our brains like what 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 is firing that's missing right. or not connecting or what or what is this reality not providing our brains to stimulate ourselves enough to to, to keep us sane to keep yeah. us content with whatever you know what I'm saying? Have, yeah. with w whatever is going on here that's what I'm trying what I'm to saying. figure out man cuz every day like like, you could show me a whole bunch of brain scans and be like, yeah, this is elevated levels of bullshit, mm -hmm. but what you're it? not telling me why, Why? what's causing it, what is the stem. You're telling you me know? what is, right. but you're not telling me why it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could describe symptoms, but, you know, how do we solve mental health or mental stability? What is deteriorating? Mm -hmm. But then again, you also have to, what I always get back to is like, now you have to set a benchmark for what is normal mental function. Because then you'll true. have another side that's like, oh no, you're just trying to, what's the word? Not not glorify, but uh, normalize people with mental disorders, disorders and stuff yeah. like that. But it's like, with the way we're going, with everything, with society, yeah. what is the normal... What's the normal way to function with such an overload on our senses in yeah. terms of information, what we can consume, what we can experience, and shit like that? Expectations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is the meaning of well, finding meaning in our lives? You know, learn... You, you know what I'm saying? Well, because people people always talk about what is normal. But what it, what is normal? Nothing is normal. But, anymore, exactly, right? essentially. So, what are the parameters set for normal brain? Quote function. unquote normal. Right. Yeah, but I mean, normal brain. Uh, a, a, a person that is having a mental breakdown might, if they scan their brain, it might come off as a normal brain function, but in in, in, in secret, might be losing their shit behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because you can you can classify. You can classify you going out to daily life as a normal brain. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Dexter. Showmax TV show. Watched his parents get murdered while he was a child. Mm -hmm. He survived. Now he just, he became a forensic person. And then he murders bad guys. Right. But everybody 
except for the dude that said, surprise, motherfucker, knew he was crazy. You see what I'm saying? Everybody thought he was normal. And then the last, well, the, before they restarted all over, but the last season, season five, mm -hmm. when his sister found out that he was this psychotic murderer, she thought he was normal the whole time. Right. So what classifies as normal? There's no parameters for it. So we can scan the brain of uh you I you I, we can scan the brain of a person that we think is normal because he wakes up every day, comes to work on time, drinks coffee, mm -hmm. talks, socializes, mm -hmm. but then goes home and murders twenty people <laughs> every single night. But scan his brain, oh he comes off as normal. Yeah, yeah, scan normal, normal brain person. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's why I said what is the parameters for normal? Which is why you said in the beginning they need to start figuring out what mental health well, is, yeah, so we can right. set a, a, a parameter or a, a level of what is normal, quote unquote, and what is mentally, um, how do you say, it? like not mentally stable, stable not what's right. not mentally stable. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what we need to start. Just like cancer. There's so many different forms of cancer, but they're trying to figure out one solution to destroy so many different types of cancer. Right. Because not all right. cancer is the same. Right. And they said the biggest issue with trying to cure cancer is there's not just one type. Right. There's millions. Yeah. And that's, that's the true. issue because it grows on different parts of the body. Right. So that's a di the liver is different from mm -hmm. the colon. The colon is different mm -hmm. from the brain. The brain is different from the lungs. Mm -hmm. So those are all different types of cancer. So I think that's the first thing that scientists need to start establishing first is what is normal. Because what is normal brain function? Because nobody knows. Because to me, everyone thinks I'm funny. But to others, people think I'm weird. But to another, oh, you're normal. But to another, I'm crazy. You see right. what I'm saying? So it's like... Right. What I is it? That. That's how come I. That's how come when doctors are quick to give people pills because they think they're insane or psychotic, it's crazy to me because you don't even understand what it is, but you're gonna throw a pill at the problem every single time so you don't have to deal with it. But then when the chemical imbalance occurs in the body and they act a well, different, well, well, now they start be having a dependency on that. Pill. Exactly, because when you tell your brain you need something, it's gonna continue to want it. And that's why I always say um, ADHD is a, a mindset thing. It's real, but mm -hmm. if you take pills for it, you're telling yourself you need it. Right. But if, but I don't right. think I don't think people need it. They don't right. because it, it fucks up with your sleep. It makes your mood um, um, either sad or miserable. You're exhausted. You don't feel like doing shit. I mean, people have different reactions. I've talked to several people that tell me they react different on their ADHD um, meds, mm -hmm. but when they're off of it, yes, they can't focus, but their energy's up. Right. They talk to people. Right. They socialize. Right. They're happy. Their appetite is not gone. And it's like, do you... I don't tell them, do you really need it? But I'm like, in my head, do you really need it? Or is that something you're telling your brain that you need? So it's your body's like, yes, you do need it. It, it, it's a mental thing because like they say the brain's the most powerful thing ever if you tell yourself no if you tell your brain no then your body will say no you gotta understand the thing that's yeah. so difficult about mental health is it's like it's your state of being mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying like it's your state that's you yeah it's just the manifestation of your desires and ev everything that defines you because you know one thing I've learned about very intelligent and smart people is most most of them have ADHD. Yeah, their brain set, their their wave fun, their the wave patterns in their brain thinks different from re what what we would call a regular brain or regular society. Like a lot of people think so different, and they're intelligent in their own way. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? The way they absorb information is different from the way somebody else absorbs information, mm -hmm. and you're suppressing most of that by giving that person pills so a genius that could have invented something new that can help humanity will never be able to do that because they're on some drugs that's nullifying what they need to learn it doesn't necessarily nullify it's i'm not just, saying oh it's, no, I, yeah I, I get what you're saying yeah i get what you're saying it so, just helps you focus and get you know get your thoughts into action because you're you're there's a in end goal to your answer you just can't get to it because you're looking at nine different branches like that 
So you're basically, right. instead of doing this, you're doing this. Right. So you have one idea that will go straight forward, right. but your one idea won't be reached because you're thinking about other things that are doing this. So your ideas will encompass and do that, but it's going to take... You want gang signs, Jeff? <laughs> Butterflies. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, chill. Mm -hmm. Chill. Yeah. What the fuck? So it's like all these are ideas. Mm -hmm. It's just you can't come to one conclusion because you got eight different ideas. Exactly. And one conclusion. And, one. and it, 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 it and sometimes it helps you, that pill helps you get to that idea, or it just doesn't give you make, help you get to it at all. So yeah, I'm not saying that pill Yeah, exactly. So I, I'm not saying that the pills don't help a lot. It's just some people it, it, it just prevents them from doing what they want to do or actually feel like doing because their their body's so focused on on that fix it's like you said it's a drug it's a prescription drug but mm. i don't know man what is i mean what do you what do you think about what i'm saying because no i i, I understand what you're saying yeah. it's just like that's that's the same as somebody that has it like that's that just, doesn't take uh prescription prescription drugs. Well, i used to under the table take adderall and vivance yeah and shit. Like, that shit was fucking it did not have the same effect on me as it that it had with other folks. Gotcha. I just felt normal. Yes, I remember what you told me. Yeah. It actually made you focus. Right. Where for just, other people, they couldn't focus. I just felt normal. You had the opposite for effect. The, right. I was just like, I'm chilling. Yeah. Like, I could have complete thoughts. Not that I don't have complete thoughts. but You, like, just, you have many I had. I could compartmentalize my thoughts and not... <laughs> yeah into different fucking which is why i try to ground you and say all right let's full circle back to what we were originally talking about and you're like okay yeah yeah and then you then you complete that right. thought so the completion is there it's just you branch off because as soon as you say something specific and it, specific in your sentence it triggers your brain to talk about a different subject to what you were originally talking about right yeah i get you man sensational <laughs> 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 People are looking at me like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, man. You got to live with this man to understand him. I've been doing it for a long time, so. Oh, man. He is non-English to everybody else. His English to me. As you saying, shit. Yep. I just speak. Yep. I just speak English. What the fuck? I just speak English. Hell no. Holy shit, we're already an hour three minutes. <laughs> Oh word! Holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah, but no, man. So, um, yeah, I agree with you. Mental health needs to be something that they need to focus on, because there's a lot, a lot of issues, um, that are that's going on. And, and, and just to go full point to to the video that Jimmy showed me, it's just people are losing touch, man. They they they're, they're it's a breaking point, and it's like, where's the society heading? And what yeah. can we do about it to get people back to where they need to be or somewhat of a norm? Well, it's not getting back. It's where are we going? Gotcha. You can never get anything back because entropy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no going back. Time to, only goes forward, right. not back. There is no going back to anything. Yeah. We just need to find a new way of, you know, mm -hmm. living. Yeah. Of socializing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? However that turns out to be, I don't know. Because mm -hmm. there's such an influx of information everywhere. Anyone can believe anything. Yeah, because it, it's it, everything is so accessible. So anybody can, like, I, I can even create an article right. and make people believe that this is real. So right. it's like, right. how do you distinguish what's fact and what's fiction, what's real and what's not? Because anybody can do anything. Even, you can't even, even separate real footage from fake footage because yeah. I can make fake We're on our own now. There is no, like... Guidance. Guidance. There is no, like, widespread guidance mm -hmm. where it's, like, before the internet, you know, here's the national news. Yes. This is what's trending in the national news. Mm -hmm. This is the main story. This is what it has everyone's eyes, you know, focused. This is what everyone's focused on. Yeah. Stuff like that. But, like, even now, like, within the past... 
three years mm -hmm. with the pandemic. It was just like, even when they tried to, okay, this is what we need to be united under. Mm -hmm. No. No, everyone had already, there was so much information to consume. Everyone had their own independent belief on the reality gotcha. of things. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Even though overarchingly we could believe, you know, like, let's say you could believe the pandemic was planned, mm -hmm. but still believe in the vaccines. True. Right? Or you could believe the pandemic was planned so you don't trust the vaccine. Right? That's true. Or you can believe the pandemic was natural and believe in the vaccine. Well, it's like um it's like um it's like the deaths. You can believe the deaths happened, but right. it wasn't due to the, co uh, the, the COVID. But it wasn't due to COVID. COVID, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like we are all independently on our own. You know what I'm saying? All independently living right. our own realities. And right. That's, that's and we're, we're, we, and we got to go at it alone. Like, there is nothing. Take everything with a grain of salt, but right. understand how the world works so you don't lose your mind. But that's and, the thing. You know. We don't know how the world works. That's just dependent on the information we've consumed. We're giving, yeah. That's probably why I don't watch news. <laughs> I know mommy, mom's like, yeah, you should, but it's like... But everything is news. Everything is news, yeah. Everything is news. Mm -hmm. The moment you cut on the TV or use any type of technology, mm -hmm. it's just flooding information into your brain. brain. Nothing is naturally experienced you or to, witnessed. You have to dissect what you believe right. is true and what, right. what you believe is false. Right. Because what you believe is true, somebody else might believe is false, and what you believe is false, somebody else might believe is true. Right. So, And that's to the minute detail. Yeah. Like, to the most minute detail. Yeah. Like, you can't just say this overarching thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're so skeptical uh, at everything. Well, it's like with the ancestry DNA thing with Donald Trump. They're like, oh, yeah, his family didn't own slaves, but... <laughs> Yeah, his <laughs> Obamas and and all these other people, they, and, they, and Biden, and they and it's like some people might believe that's true, while others believe it's false. Some people might believe it's false. You can false. say anything. Exactly. You can say anything because that's just, why just because the news reported it doesn't mean it's it's on because all, all news now seems to be opinionated. It is opinion, but that's what I'm saying. What they're not they're not giving you the the facts There's like no such thing as news. <laughs> these are just professional. Modified accounts <laughs> of certain uh, events. Shit, yeah. What the fuck? No, I agree. Unless you are there, you have no idea what's going on. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that's what's tough. Because, like, that's gotten harder and harder now. To distinguish. To yeah. distinguish. Mm -hmm. You know? And even now, you've started seeing AI TikToks mm -hmm. and, you know, the voiceovers. Well, now they got the whole age thing. Like, you know, the one that shows you what you look like when you're young. Now they have one that shows you what you look like when you're old. And they're pretty fairly accurate. Yes. They're fairly yeah, accurate. that's the thing. You know, one that was kind of weird. What? I saw. Um, It was where uh, it was a trend where both parents would predict what their kid would look like through AI. Yes, yeah. And then it would accurately right. predict what their actual child looked like. And then they showed you what their child And then it showed you what their child looked like. And the accuracy it got. It was it was, was spot on. It was, was spot on. Pretty every, crazy. every single time. It was pretty close. So it was pretty close. So So it's like people randomly take pictures of you and be like, Will I make a good kid with this person? <laughs> and that's, <they> but that's <laughs> weird though. Yeah it is. No, I like agree. think about the place that takes us to. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's a black I'll only shit. mate with you because you're gonna it's make my child look like a chat. Mirror shit. <laughs> hey, like you said, everything they predicted in Black Mirror is coming true. We didn't predict shit in Black Mirror. They just it was already shit. here. They just went and dialed it to the extreme. Extreme. I got you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because Black Mirror isn't really the first to do it. You've yeah. seen 1984. You've seen Yep. Blade Runner. You've come. Mm -hmm. You've seen it a bajillion times. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just the darkest parts of humanity just get amplified through technology. Technology. And that's the that's the route we're going. Like we perfect example is the Transformers. Where the future where your past and your future. Right, that's what that's what the, that's what they said. Yep. We are your past and, and your, your future. future. Yep. So but no, I get it, man. I get it. Any final thoughts, sir? Me? Um Yeah. On anything that we we're talking about today. Not just Vinland Saga, but the mental health thing and 
and just what's going on in today. Those are really great words to live by. I have no enemies, bro. Yeah. yeah. I have no enemies. We have no enemies. We have no enemies. Yeah. No, I can probably say I have no enemies. Yeah. There's no one out there that wants to kill me. Yep. Unless they do. For no reason, I guess. For no reason. It don't have to be for no reason. Uh, At shit. least I'll die knowing I, this was... I hate you because you have hair. This was per <laughs> chance, you know? You what? Uh, this shit. happened by chance. Yeah. No, I got you, man. I got you. You know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, those are some good words of, wi- with words of wisdom. Um, you Nobody has any enemies. You have no enemies. I have no enemies. So it's like anything that could be talked over, what you laughing at? What you laughing at? <laughs> I'm trying to be wise. What's the FBI? <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe tell us they're watching the stream. Yeah. Oh, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, you killed it. You started laughing. I don't even remember what you said. Exactly. Though. You I were have saying no enemies. words. I have no enemies. You have no enemies. Everything can be solved with a conversation, not directly fighting each other, which which is why I understand certain protests, is, but there, you have that one person that just wants to start violence. violence. So. Yeah, that's true. That's just chaotic elements. Yes, or plants. They're planting the motherfuckers. Bots. The hell? Bots. All right, we're going to pay you 100 grand to throw rocks at people. And that's then, crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah, sir, um, that's all I got. That's all you got? That's all I got. How about you? Me? I'm hungry as shit. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready for food. I am. I'm ready to cook. Mm. I'm ready to cook. Yeah. Take us home, brother. All right, guys. Think, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And, of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Timestamps. Timestamps. So you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, of course, leave us a comment. Guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day, and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye, y'all.